So in this one, I will drop some gems on how you can go about building a $10,000 a month YouTube automation channel. Okay, some of the secrets, some of the sauce that not everyone is dropping, right? So some of the exclusive stuff, right? Open your ears and listen properly. Take notes, go ahead and start implementing. Because after watching this video, if you are not implementing, if you are still not succeeding with YouTube automation, then you don't lack information. You don't lack knowledge. You lack action. Okay, so let's get into it. Firstly, you are not lacking some shiny tactic or strategy to build a successful YouTube automation channel, which is about doing 10 grand a month. So however, you are lacking the content skills. I'll make it very simple for you. The only three things you need to care about remarkable video idea, packaging and product. I'll repeat remarkable video idea, packaging and product. If you get these three things in place, there's no way you're not succeeding with YouTube automation. Okay, so let's tackle the first one video idea come up with better and remarkable ideas we'll go over that here in a minute packaging make thumbnail and title better than your competitors product make your videos 20 percent better than your competitors video now let's take a look at these these examples of mr beast and how how each of these videos performed right so my friend again i mentioned this in the last video as well one of my friends um runs this channel he posted this video first why beast burger is mcdonald's worst nightmare and guess what happens we always have these copycats when something goes successful and you see all these guys copying the exact same thumbnail title and video and guess what happens nobody succeeds as this guy did why is that it's because you are not coming up with better stuff, right? You are not doing things 20% better. You just copied what someone else did and succeeded with. And how do you expect to do the same and succeed? It's not how it works, right? So let's go a bit more deeper, right? The patterns, everything in YouTube and everything that you succeed with in YouTube automation comes down to just this formula. Okay. And it applies the same thing, remarkable idea, packaging and product. And how does that apply? you have a poor video topic you have a good packaging a good video you will experience somewhat little to no impressions okay average retention by viewers by no demand and impressions stop second path is good video topic good packaging good video rising impressions average retention by viewers impressions flatline views stagnate okay third one is great video topic great packaging great video impressions rise great retention by viewers more impressions more impressions leads to more views more views and then video goes viral it pops out that's how it works right so it's a combination of video idea packaging and product if you don't have one of these things in place it's likely your videos will not pull in views and again i'm not forgetting about the main concept which is supply and demand the idea is extremely important because if you're not covering the right topic if this thing is trending right now you better make a video on this topic if it is not you don't right if you are making videos on things that are not trending people are not searching for it guess what happens your video idea is bad and if it's a bad idea that nobody wants to watch no matter how great of a packaging and product you create your videos will not get views right so it everything ties in and imagine that you make the best video you actually cover something that is in trend Guess what then happens? It comes down to your packaging. People actually want to watch this packaging. They want, actually want to watch, click on this video because the title and thumbnail is good or bad, whatever. And then if the act, video is actually good, people are actually staying on the video. That will then determine back if YouTube should pu push your videos more, right? So supply demand is important. And so is equally making a great video on the right topic and with a great packaging, okay? So those are the fundamentals, guys, the core in order for you to accomplish this. The core is become the person that knows the ins and outs of your niche. That's the core part. This is the foundation of great videos, packaging and product. So the remarkable ideas, what do I mean by remarkable ideas? So brainstorming tricks, right? So there's, there's multiple ways. Okay, so what I'm talking about here is basically how you can come up with better ideas, come up with better packaging, come up with better product. What are the things, the intricacies and everything. But everything ties back to you knowing your niche extremely well. If you don't know your niche, then it's going to be extremely hard for you to do any of these steps, right? Because the first step is making sure that your content, your topics, whatever stuff you put out resonates with the market. And how do you resonate with the market? When you truly know what who your market is. If I'm making videos on YouTube and YouTube automation, I understand the people that are starting YouTube automation channels. I know where they're at. 
and what they are doing, what they like, they don't like, what they know, they don't know, how much knowledge they have. With that context, I can make a better video. But if someone knows nothing about YouTube automation, firstly, they cannot deliver on the knowledge. And secondly, even if they do, they don't know their market extremely well. It's going to be hard for them to communicate with the market, right? So it's extremely important that you know your market, know your stuff, then create a channel on that niche so you can be better than your competitors. And once you have done that, it comes down to these three things, right? So remarkable ideas, brainstorming tricks. There are a lot of tricks, right? And then marketing, market research strategy could be going to Google Trends with IQ Incognito. Same goes for packaging. Look for packaging ideas in other niches and apply them back to your niche product right script information script structure would be hook storytelling payoff restructuring for maximum retention which is spacing and building up tension so there's a lot of specific things guys nobody's talking about these things everyone's like yeah just hire a script writer how do you know the script writer knows about all these things all to be honest most of the script writers i've come across is that these guys just know how to find information or some of them even don't right they find really terrible awful information it's just not that good so how do you make sure all these things are in place it's important, right? So the tip would be structure and conveying information effectively is always, always, always greater than aesthetics and high editing, right? So there's, there's this big difference. And in fact, I was falling into this trap as well. When I was, whenever I was like, make great videos, I was like, yeah, I have to improve my editing skills. Not exactly. How does editing improve your video of course it makes it look pleasing aesthetically pleasing on the ic just makes it very interesting because it looks more cinematic whatever right more more better to watch but that's not the main thing if i create a video that is so well edited but it makes literally no sense it has no structure whatsoever people will not watch the video right it needs to have a great script high quality information structured in the best way which optimizes for retention combined with a great voiceover a narrator that just like hooks people in with the way he communicates he or she communicates then you have a great editing and then even with editing it can be mediocre editing but has the key elements when something happens it has that sound effect while introducing that thing it has a great coloring and branding colors and then it has the right animations showing the right footages of whatever the topic is being talked about that's more important than just doing high ADHD editing, right? So that's extremely important. So what I'll do is I can make full masterclass videos and post them to YouTube for you guys. Okay. So if you'd like to see it, comment masterclass below this video and smash the like and subscribe button. And to be honest, I have already created a masterclass video for script writing. Okay, and, and I created this for my internal team and everything. I can also share that with you guys. Just go ahead, comment masterclass, smash the like and subscribe. And pretty much I'll that would be a signal to me to create videos um, of masterclass going into specifics of each of these topics, right? Because at the end of the day, it just comes down to these three things. The better your ideas, the better your thumbnail and getting people to click and the better the videos, getting people to watch till the until the end, game over, right? <laughs> so lastly i want to leave you with this video okay this video popped out in my um, youtube recommendation um i had come across this guy nico in a couple of videos but i wasn't his fan or whatsoever but i clicked on this video because the title and the idea the packaging and the video was on point and it reflects in the amount of views this guy pulled in nine days ago 3.8 million close to four Pretty sure this would be a 10 million views video very soon, right? 100% more than 10. So perfect example of keeping viewers curious and building tension throughout the video. Go watch the video and it's going to be interesting. Lastly, if you'd like me to break down, comment, watch masterclass, smash the like and subscribe button. Okay. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you're interested in working with me, um, feel free to book a call with us. Link in description and we will help you start a YouTube automation channel the right way. Cheers.